Disney's Treasure Planet. Jim Hawkins zooms through the air on his solar surfer as he twirls and flips two robot constables catch Jim for flying in a restricted area. They drag him to the Bimbo Inn where his mother Sarah works. Jim, I have had it, Sarah warns. Then she adds, I just don't want to see you throw away your entire future. What future, Jim? Watch me. Says to himself as he slips out the front door of the Bimbo Inn. Sarah sighs and turns to talk to her friend, Dr. Delbert Dobler. Ever since his father left, Jim just never recovered, she says. And you know how smart he is. He built his first solar surfer when he was eight. Jim sits on the roof of the Bimbo Inn, overhearing Sarah talk to Dr. Doppler. Suddenly, a spaceship crashes into a dock nearby. He runs to help. Billy Bones drags himself out of the wreck and begs Jim for help. Jim carries the alien back to the Bimbo Inn. As Bones grow weaker, he hands Jim a metallic sphere. Beware the cyborg, warns Bones as his eyes close forever. Pirates attack the Bimbo Inn. Quick, we gotta go, says Jim. Sarah, Doppler, and Jim escape from the burning building to the safety of Doppler's observatory. Well, certainly a lot of trouble over that odd little sphere, says Doppler. With Jim holding the sphere, suddenly something clicks. A spark flies from the sphere and it starts to glow and hum. Rotating planets and stars project from the sphere and fill the room. This appears to be some kind of map, exclaims Doppler. Doppler points out planets and stars on the map. A two-ring green planet comes into view. Treasure Planet, says Jim as his eyes widen with excitement. Flint's trove, Doppler says in disbelief. The loot of a thousand worlds. Do you know what this means? It means that all that treasure is only a boat ride away, says Jim. Jim grabs the map and heads for the door, determined to get the treasure. Jim, there is absolutely no way you're going, says Sarah. Delbert, would you please explain how ridiculous this is? It's totally preposterous. Transversing the entire galaxy alone, agrees Doppler. That's why I'm going with you. I'll use my savings to finance an expedition. I'll commission a ship, hire a crew, and a captain. Jim and Doppler plead with Sarah to let Jim go. She reluctantly agrees. Jim and Doppler arrive at the spaceport and find their ship, the RLS Legacy. On board, they meet Captain Amelia and her first mate, Mr. Arrow. Amelia tells Jim that he will work for the cook. Jim reports to the kitchen where he meets John Silver. and his shape-shifting pet morph. A cyborg, says Jim, when he discovers Silver is part machine. 
He fears that Silver might be the same cyborg that Billy Bones has warned him about. Silver holds out his mechanical gadget hand for Jim to shake. Jim looks at it warily. Now don't be too put off by this hunk of hardware, says Silver, as he switches to his regular hand. Jim still does not trust Silver. Just then the ship's whistle blows and Jim hurries off to see the legacy launch. He watches in awe as the legacy soars into the Eurythium. On its journey to Treasure Planet. Silver hands Jim a mop and a bucket. Jimbo, say hello to Mr. Mop and Mrs. Bucket, laughs Silver. As Jim swabs the deck, he disturbs one of the crew. The sinister spider-like scroop group Jim grabs Jim by the collar. Any last words, cabin boy? Luckily, Silver breaks up the fight just in time. Now I want this deck swap spotless, and heaven help you if I come back and it's not done, says Silver. Silver goes below deck and scolds the other crew members. You want to blow the whole mutiny before it's time? Just stick to the plan. As for that boy, I'll run him so ragged he won't have time to think. Later, Silver returns to find Jim and Morph <laughs> mopping the deck. Didn't your pap ever teach you to pick your fights a bit more carefully? Teases Silver. No. He never got around to that, Jim replies sadly. Watch me. Well, since Captain has put you in my charge, I'll be pounding a few skills into that thick head of yours to keep you out of trouble, says Silver. Soon Silver realizes that Jim is a good worker and Jim begins to admire the old cook. They are becoming friends. Silver puts Jim to work scrubbing barnacles, cleaning out of the cannon, cannons, and scrubbing the deck. As a treat, Silver teaches Jim how to sail on a longboat. Now you listen to me, Jim Hawkins, James Hawkins, says Silver. You gotta take the helm and chart your own course. Jim hugs Silver. Hidden in the dark, Scoop watches Jim and Silver. The next morning, Jim me. overhears Silver and other crew members talking in the galley. What we're saying is we're getting tired of all this waiting, says Bird Brain Mary. We don't move till we got the treasure in hand, says Silver. It's that boy. Scroop says to Silver. Me thinks you have a soft spot for him. I care about one thing and only one thing. Flinch Trove. Insists Silver. Planet Ho. Cries the lookout from above. The pirates rush out of the galley to see Treasure Planet. Jim feels hurt after learning Silver's plan. He tries to sneak out of the galley, but Silver catches him. The other pirates scramble to find Doppler and Amelia so they can take over the ship. But Jim manages to escape from Silver and warns Doppler and Amelia of the pirates' mutiny. Silver and the pirates head for the cannons. Despite the pirates' attack, Jim, Amelia, Doppler manage to escape with the map and crash land on Treasure Planet. Jim reaches into his pockets to pull out the map, but pulls out Morph. Instead, Jim quickly realizes that Morph has played a trick on him. 
Morph was just trying to have fun. But now the real map is back on the legacy. Jim will have to return to the legacy to get the map, but Amelia sees pirates. And asks Jim to seek out a safe place to hide. Jim makes his way through the bushes. Suddenly he hears a rustling noise and a little robot jumps out of the bushes. A carbon-based life form come to the rescue me at last, the little robot gushes. I'm Ben. Bioelectronic Navigator. And you are? Jim introduces himself and mentions that he needs to find a place to hide from the pirates. Oh, pirates, says Ben. I don't like them. I remember Captain Flint. This guy had such a temper. You knew Captain Flint, asked Jim? Then you gotta know about the treasure. Well, it's all a little fuzzy, says Ben. He points to an oddly shaped hole in his head, showing that he is missing his memory circuit. I'm sorry, I've lost my mind. You haven't found it, have you? Jim says he must move on. Ben joins him. Ben shows Jim his home, an ancient tower where Jim and the others can hide. Just as soon as Jim, Amelia, and Doppler arrive at the tower, Ben mistakenly helps the pirates. Find them. Silver tries to apologize and bargain with Jim. Jim is determined not to help Silver. Fed up, Silver warms. Either I get the map by dawn tomorrow or I'll use the ship's cannons to blast you all the kingdom come. The pirates surround the stockade, but Ben reveals a secret tunnel through which Jim, Morph, and Ben escape. They take the pirates' longboat while the pirates are asleep and head back to the Legacy. While on board, Jim finds the real map. When they return to Ben's home, Jim hands the map to Doppler. But it isn't Doppler's after all. When the hand reaches out from the darkness, it's a cyborg hand. Silver! Silver demands that Jim open the map. Jim gives him a few gives a few twists and turns and the map opens. A path forms from the stockade entrance. Everyone piles into the longboat and follows the corkscrewing path into a wall of trees. They must now proceed on foot. They get out of the longboat leaving Amelia and Doppler behind guarded by one of the pirates. The group comes off comes to a cliff Suddenly, the map closes. The path disappears. Jim notices markings on the ground that resemble those on the map. There is a small indentation on the ground where he inserts the map. A pattern lights up and raises off the cliff, turning into a controller. Jim touches it. So that's how Flint did it, says Jim, as he touches points on the controller. A triangle of light flashes above them. It opens on two different locations. He uses this portal to roam the universe stealing treasure. What if the whole planet is the mechanism? Then the treasure is buried in the center of this planet. Jim touches the center of the controller. There is a bright flash and the triangle opens onto a dark chamber. They cautiously enter. The pirates cannot believe their eyes. Before them stretch mountains of treasure. Atop one of the mountains is Flint's pirate ship. Jim climbs aboard Flint's ship. He finds a computer chip and inserts it into the slot in Ben's head. 
all my memory shall bend. They're all coming back. Ben remembers that Flint set a booby trap, but now it's too late. There is a huge rumble and treasure starts to fall into the cracks in the ground. The planet is going to self-destruct. Jim sends Ben back to the legacy. Jim gets Flint's ship to roar to life, but Silver sneaks onto the ship. Suddenly, an energy beam hits Flint's ship, sending Jim and Silver over the side. Silver manages to hold on, but Jim slides down the steep slope. Silver has to decide whether to save the treasure or save Jim. Silver releases the ship and grabs Jim's hand. Flint's ship and the rest of the treasure disappear in the energy beam. Jim and Silver scramble out through the portal to the surface of Treasure Planet. Suddenly, alongside Jim and Silver, the legacy appears. Ben, Doppler, and Amelia have taken over the ship. Jim and Silver jump on board. Hurry, people, shouts Ben. We've got exactly two minutes and 34 seconds till the planet's destruction, but the legacy has endured too much damage to escape the planet's explosion. It's moving too slowly. Jim won't give up. Using what materials he can find on deck, he makes a solar surfer. Silver turns his arm into a welding torch and helps fuse pieces of metal together. Now, no matter what happens, keep the ship heading straight for that portal, Jim instructs the group. And with that, he sets off for the portal. Solar surfing through the ethereum. Doppler turns the ship around and follows after Jim as explosions continue around them. Jim solar surfs his way through the polar controller with the legacy, trailing not far behind. The cylinders on the solar surfer jam. Jim is losing power. 17 seconds, shouts Ben. Finally, Jim kicks the solar surfer into gear and zooms to the controller. Without a second to lose, he reprograms the portal to switch from exploding core to open space. Jim and the legacy barely escapes through the portal as Treasure Planet explodes. Everyone rushes to congratulate Jim. Amelia is furious with Silver and the pirates. She threatens to lock up the old cyborg for good, but Silver is nowhere to be found. Jim finds Silver untying the mooring lines of a longboat with Morph by his side. <laughs> you never quit, do you, Jim? asks Silver. Ah, Jimbo, now you don't mind. We just as soon avoid prison, pleads Silver. Jim hesitates for a minute. Then he punches the hatch release that opens the bay doors. Silver had saved Jim's life, and he had to help his friend Silver is relieved. What say you ship out with us, lad, asked Silver? You and me, Hawkins and Silver, are full of ourselves and no ties to anyone. When I got on this boat, I would have taken you up on that offer in a second, says Jim. Watch me. But I met this old cyborg, and he taught me that I could chart my own course, and that's what I'm going to do. You're something special, says Silver. You're going to rattle the stars, you are. Silver tells Morph <laughs> to stay with Jim. Jim smiles and gently rubs Morph on the belly. Silver tosses a handful of jewels to Jim for your dear mother to reveal that end of hers. Jim smiles as Silver sails off. He'll never forget that old pirate. Silver helped Jim find treasure buried where he least expected it inside himself.